I'm Diana Sanderson, owner and founder of the Silk Weaving Studio. I opened a studio on Granville Island in 1986 in a small building under the bridge. Little did I know how it would evolve and become a source of beautiful textiles and a meeting place for those who create and appreciate them. I still own and guide the studio today, but it has become a strongly collaborative effort where a team of talented people share their passion for silk. We strive to create a warm and welcoming space for the weavers and public alike. Our textiles are all based on silk. The ways that the fiber is blended, spun, dyed, and the many corners of the world from which it comes mean that there is a great range of inspiring materials always on hand. Add to that the diverse weaving structures available to the makers and the result is a huge array of beautifully unique pieces. Here in the studio we make the hand woven and knitted products we sell, though some of the work is also done in our homes. The team, who are all weavers in their own right, collaborate to create scarves, shawls, and to weave fabric which is locally tailored into garments. Visitors have the opportunity to watch the weaving as well as the many other processes involved in making the warp and setting up of the loom. We're always doing something interesting in the studio. The Silk Weaving Studio is also the home of Sanjo Silk Yarns, who have made another introduction video for you. A particular passion for me with Sanju is our representation of the Sipali project, which promotes sustainable silk culture in Madagascar by bringing fascinating and unusual silk cocoon fabrics to North America. At the studio, we also like to share our enthusiasm and expertise for textiles through intimate spinning and weaving classes. In summer, we have silkworms in the studio. They complete their entire life cycle here, growing from eggs the size of a pinhead until they're ready to spin their cocoons. Inside their silk sanctuary, they are allowed to metamorphosize and emerge as moths, then mate and lay the eggs for the next year's worms. In addition to work created on site, the studio hosts two or three exhibitions each year, including a local invitational event and guest shows. Some of these are offered in conjunction with the Maiwa School of Textiles. As a result of annual trips to Japan over the last 15 years, I've developed a deep interest in and admiration for contemporary Japanese textiles. We frequently feature the work of Japanese artists, bringing the artists and their rarely seen work to Granville Island. So, however we adapt to the prevailing circumstances, there is still a haven of silk yarn, color, and textile inspiration tucked away on Granville Island. 